Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I got a bunch of new stuff here that I have not tried before. I think there's only one thing here that I have tried before. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So I think today I do want to start with my eyes and for my eye primer I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. This is the Pro Filter Invisi Pink Eye Primer and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit on my eyes and then I will go ahead and tap that in just like this and then once it is all tapped in I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my setting powder now that that is all tapped in I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Ciate London everyday vacay coconut setting powder I have used this before but I've only used it once or twice and I don't have another new setting powder so we're gonna cheat a little bit I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild brush this is their fluffy blending brush I think and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap the setting powder on here to set this eye primer this eye primer does have a nice amount of tackiness to it alrighty so that is one I set. I'm gonna do the other one and be right back alrighty so now that my eyelids are all set and primed. I'm gonna go ahead and move into our eyeshadow palette. Let's go ahead and move straight into the Afrique palette by Juvia's Place. This is what that palette looks like. So I'm gonna take this very fluffy brush from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna go straight into this yellow shade right here. So I'm just gonna take this yellow and start to blend it right above my crease to really create a nice yellow transition color. And I'm just gonna really start to build this yellow up. And because I have not done my foundation or anything yet, I can be as messy as I would like. And I did go ahead and turn my brush down a bit just so that way it's easier for you guys to see the color hopefully and I'm just gonna really diffuse these edges now just like that so you can really see the yellow there and I'm gonna go in one more time with that yellow just to really build that pigment alrighty so that is what we are gonna work with for this I'm gonna do the other eye real quick and I will be right back so next up in this palette I want to go into this green color and I'm gonna take it on that same brush as the yellow and I'm just gonna start to pat this on my lid a little bit I don't want this to be super pigmented because I do have an eyeliner I want to use but I definitely want it to be green. So I think something like this would do like really soft so we can use that eyeliner still. Alrighty, so this is what the eyeshadow is looking like so far. I did just use those two shades. So now I'm going to go into this shade right here on the bottom, which I was really obsessed with when I unboxed it. And I'm just going to take this on my finger and apply it to my lid. And I'm just going to swipe it across my lid. Just like that. And if you do use your finger, there's definitely a lot of fallout on your face. I'm going to do the other eye real quick. This is what the eyeshadow shadow looks like it's not my favorite look but I definitely want to use the eyeliner and hopefully that'll help it so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all the extra fallout that fell and I'm also gonna clean up the lash line just like that alrighty now I'm gonna move into primer so I have this one from Becca this is the velvet blurring primer that I want to try there's like a little shaker ball in it alrighty so I'm just gonna keep you guys zoomed in like this so you can really see everything so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just pump it Ooh pump it out so that is what it looks like it is very runny and chunky yeah i'm gonna wipe this off and try shaking it again because that is extremely watery and chunky i just don't know how long i am supposed to be doing this for Alrighty, let's go ahead and try it now okay let's go ahead and try it now I'm not going to be using this. It looks like there might be mold or something. Do you see those yellow dots in there? And it's kind of burning a little bit. So that will not be going on my face. And that will be going into the garbage. I don't really know if I got a bad one or something. But so I just pumped a bunch of it onto the swipe so I could see it better. There is so much yellow dots in there. There's a couple of dark black ones underneath that are kind of peeking through. Okay, can you see that? Those are all little yellow dots coming out of there. I will not be trying this today. It was the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. I'm not willing to chance that or chance putting mold on my face. Alrighty, so instead of that one, let's go ahead and try a different primer. This is going to be the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've never actually tried one of these. I don't even think I've ever tried a primer spray before. For. These are what they look like. They are the minis. One of them is the earth and one of them is the water, which is really cool. Do they do anything different from each other's question? So the water one is sea salt and lemon and the earth one is cedarwood and beer. I don't know how to say that. Silicone alcohol and oil free for both of them. So that's pretty cool. So it says spray as a primer, a refresher, or a setting spray. So that's pretty cool. So maybe we'll do one of each. So let's go ahead and use the water one for our primer then. So it has like a very light smell, but it doesn't really smell like lemon. It smells mostly like sea salt. So let's go ahead and spray this on our face. 
Alrighty, so this is the primer water on. This is again the water one. So we'll go ahead and see how it wears. So I do want to go ahead and try this Juvia's Place, the shade stick. And this is in Bolivia. So this is what the foundation stick looks like. Let's just go ahead and kind of get right into it since we are primed. So this is definitely going to be a bit dark. Whatever, we're going to make it work because I really want to test it. I'm going to go in with this Dila brush. There's no name on it. It's a dual-ended brush. And start blending this together. So that's definitely not my color. I look like the peanut butter baby again. I feel like I might actually really like this just based on how it's blending out if it were in my shade. So it's like on camera, it doesn't look as terrible. But then you turn and you can see the line. And you're like, yeah, no, that's pretty awful. However, you can definitely see through a lot more on camera because in person you can see this slightly but not really so that's very interesting so it definitely looks a lot more natural on camera Let's try and go over these markings one last time so it's definitely blendable as well this is so bad <laughs> i mean overall though i really do like the finish of it does this shade match is so bad <laughs> and i'm like girl how on earth and it's so funny because he had shade matched me to two other foundations the same day and got those correct okay it's that's gonna be as good as we do it because it's so bad but it looks a little bit better if you don't look at my ears or my hand <gasps> Okay, so let's just let's just keep going. Let's move into concealer. So I have this Cover FX Power Play Concealer right here. And this is in the shade N Light 1. And this is what that packaging looks like for the concealer. And this is what that doe foot applicator looks like. It is a little ball, which is really interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a dot right here, a dot right here, one right here, and one right here. I really, really like this applicator. So to blend this out, I'm gonna flip my brush and use the other side right here and just start working that in. So this does have a crazy amount of pigment. You can see how dark this foundation is by how light the concealer is. I do like the way that this is blending in though. So I didn't really like that side for blending my concealer. So I'm going to go into the water priming spray again and spray the tip of my beauty blender a couple of times. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish tapping that in just to get all of those brush marks out of there. And that has already helped finish blending this in a lot better. This concealer I absolutely love so far. I'm going to definitely have to play with it to make sure it's the right color on not this foundation shade. But I mean it is sitting so nicely. It's not really creasing just sitting here. So this concealer right here for me so far is definitely a win. I'm just going to try and blend this color just a little bit more into each other. Alright to set this and my under eyes I'm going to go back into that Ciate London Everyday Vague Hay Coconut Setting Powder. And I'm going to go into my setting powder brush that I always use and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this in today. See on camera. Oh, you can see a streak right here. You see that? Okay, so the shade match for the foundation is awful. This powder smells absolutely amazing though. I was hoping because I know it says it's a translucent powder, but I was hoping because it was white, it would flush it out just a tiny bit. Maybe a little bit on camera, but it's not in person. Alrighty guys, so everything is now set with setting powder. My neck somehow is definitely a lot darker than my face. But I mean... Everything's still darker than my normal skin tone. I don't really know what happened because I set them all the same amount. So I'm not really sure. But I mean, I look... Yeah. So, like, I don't even think that this would fit me in the summer. It's that dark. So I do want to go in and finish my eyes first. So I have this eyeliner. I'll have it linked below if I can find it. I bought it at Target. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a liner. Okay, so it's just a little bit, but you can definitely see it. So I, I don't even know if I want to wing it and chance it. So I might add a wing at the very end so the brush doesn't bend or move i'll do this eye and i'll be right back because i'm having trouble okay so this is what that green eyeliner is looking like it is kind of hard to tell this was such a pain to apply because the brush on it is so thick but it does dry to this really deep mossy green color which is nice let's go ahead and move into our lower lash line now and i'm gonna take a wet and wild flat blender brush i think that's what it is and let's go back into this palette i'm gonna go into this yellow and i'm gonna start smoking this out on the lower lash line i'm actually gonna go into this moda bmx 420 detail brush and into that yellow and just blend out that lower lash line this one's a little bit softer and it's not as stiff as that wet and wild one so it will make it just a little bit easier to buff out that yellow and again i know this yellow is one that you won't really see but it'll help make that green look a lot more faded and diffused 
Taking that same brush from Moda, I'm gonna go into that green color and I'm just gonna start blending this out but not bringing it down as low. Something kind of like that. And then I'm gonna connect my two edges and do the same on the other eye. So definitely so far, I have to say, I wanna go get this foundation in my color because I'm really liking the way it looks. On camera, it looks a lot sheerer than it is in person. Here, this is hidden more. You can see like right here, you can see the texture of it but the coloring is gone. But with mine, you can see the texture anyways. So I'm not, you know, worried about that. But the finish on it is really, really nice. So on that lower lash gang, you can see that I did take that green just a little bit deeper. And just to up it one more, I'm going to take a green eyeliner. This is from LA Girl. This is their Shockwave Neon Liner. This is in the shade Gotcha. So let's go ahead and apply this to my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and take this on my lower waterline and I'll be right back. So this is what that is looking like with the green in the waterline. This was kind of hard to apply to the waterline. On here, as you can see, the swatch is very pigmented, but as you're applying it, you have to go over it so many times to get any type of color. So it is a very light wash of green on my waterline instead of the pigment. So let's go ahead and move into our base. So for bronzer, I have the Fenty Beauty. This is the Shady Biz Sun Bronzer. I'm going to take this Luxie 1010 Small Contour Brush and apply this bronzer. And if you'd like to see how I apply my makeup normally, I do have a video on that where I will link it down below. Where I kind of walk you step by step techniques that I use and different things like that. So that is what it is looking like. I really like this. It is buildable. I can add a second layer and it keeps adding to the pig which is nice so that way in the winter and the summer I would be able to wear this so that took all the foundation off my nose I'm not really sure why let's go ahead and just kind of retap that in next up is blush and for blush I'm gonna go into this Fenty cream this is in the shade summertime wine so that is what it is looking like and I'm gonna take it on this BH Cosmetics 126 brush and just kind of tap that on there and just tap this in so definitely a little bit is the way to go and I'm not really pulling or anything because I don't want to pull the foundation underneath because I already set it and I forgot. So that sponge that we did use to blend in our concealer, I'm going to go ahead and take that water spray again and spray this. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap this in a little bit just to help make it a little bit less what it is. In person, this looks really pretty and really natural. On camera, it is picking up so much worse. I don't really know what's going on today with my camera. Normally, my camera's really good about picking stuff up, but in person, I would totally go out with this makeup because it looks normal, except for the foundation color. So then next up is going to be our highlighter, and I have this highlighter from Wet n Wild. I've never tried one of their loose highlighters. This is in the shade All Glown Up, which is really cute, but I think it's crazy. Everybody, like, loves these. They used to always be sold out, and I've never even tried it. So I went to go remove the sticker, and the whole thing just popped out everywhere, so be careful if you um, want to use it. <laughs> so to apply this, I'm going to use this AOA Studio F19 brush. Okay, so this is too dark for me. Nope. Let's try this one. This is Hustle and Glow, but I think over that it might be too dark still. So let's go ahead into the You Glow Girl. This is like a pinkier one, which is why I didn't want to use it originally. And we also now know to be careful pulling this sticker off. Because if you see looking on, you can see the whole patch of this. It's not good. Not good at all. We can just rub it away a little bit. Okay, so we did manage to rub some of it away a little bit at least. So it's not that terrible. I'm going to use my color switch on this brush real quick. Let's go ahead and go into this one real quick. And this is in the You Glow Girl. And let's hope this one's better. They are definitely intense. I didn't even have to spray my brush or anything. They are very pretty though. And they are easier to work with. I'm noticing they blend out very nicely. And then I'm also going to take this flat domed brush from Wet n Wild and take a little bit of this You Glow Girl highlighter and pop this on my inner corner just like that to help brighten it up a little bit and then I'm gonna take that and put it on my brow bone slightly just like that alrighty so that is that highlighter it definitely doesn't look pink like it does in the container that is what the highlighter looks like I do like it It was easy to work with and if I put too much it did blend it out and um it's insanely blinding I did not even have to use any setting spray or anything to wet it I'm getting tired of looking at my eyebrows so let's go 
go ahead and do those real quick. I'm gonna use the Fenty MBB Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. I'm gonna start by brushing them up into the shape that I want, just like that. And then I am gonna go ahead and take the actual pencil side now and start to slowly fill this in. I'm gonna start to carefully fill this in with the pencil. So that is what the brows are looking like. And to set it, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Brow Gel and You Got All Burned. That pencil is really creamy and easy to work with. And it is a really nice color match and it's not crazy pigmented to the point of like you got sharpie brows which is really nice and it still makes your hairs look natural as well and i really really like the spoolie on there so this is the ultimate brow mascara by wet n wild and this is in the you got all burned and we're just gonna go ahead and brush this through that is what that spoolie looks like i really don't think this is gonna be the right color so let's go ahead and try to wipe some of this off oh yeah this is so not the right color but we're gonna do it anyways and just kind of run it through i'm just barely touching my brows as you can see it already lightened them so much oh goodness i got a dot already that dot's just gonna live there okay hey so for mascara i do have this milk makeup this is their Kush waterproof mascara. This is what that tubing looks like and it is like a ribbed bottle. I recently really got into the Kush mascara, the regular one, so I'm excited for the waterproof one because I absolutely love the way that my eyelashes look with the regular one and I get so many compliments on them. So this is what that mascara is looking like. It's definitely not as much as the regular one. I would wear this probably in the summer just going swimming or doing something like that, but I don't see this being my everyday mascara. I think I will stick to the regular one of the Kush Mascara, just because I feel like that one does a lot more for my eyelashes. So I have no idea where any of my nude liners are that are new. So I'm gonna go into this one from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the lip pencil in Cher. It's just a little nude one. And I'm gonna line my lips. So that is what that lip liner is looking like. It is a really nice, pretty nude color. And on top of that, I'm gonna use this lipstick, which is from MAC, and this is in the shade Tress Blaze. And that is what that lip combination looks like. I actually, on its own, without the eyes. Really like this lip combination. Probably not the best with the eyes that I'm wearing, but it's fine. And on top of that, I'm gonna go into this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, and this is in the shade Fussy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this on. So this is that lip combination. I think this is gonna be a more normal lip combination for me. I really like everything combined. So it's weird, the more that it's sitting, the more it's becoming my skin color. You can see that it's not as a harsh line as it was, which is really really weird. I don't know. So let's go ahead and set this all. This is going to be the Earth Spray from Smashbox. And let's see. So the same sprayer. This one you can definitely smell the cedar wood in it. So that one sprayer was a bit harsher. There's definitely some droplets on my face. And this one you could really smell the scent of it. The water one you couldn't really smell it but you did smell like a hint of sea salt which wasn't bad because I did enjoy it. But the earth one you could definitely smell the cedar wood. It was so strong. I can't get over this lip combination. Like I was like oh I don't think this is gonna look good and I actually really really like it. Alrighty guys so this is gonna be it i hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment down below i post every monday wednesday and friday so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it and i hope to see you there bye guys